everybody. Now we're going to have a look inside the keyboard to see how it works. This is an old E-Machines PS2 keyboard from around 2001, 2002 that time period. It was a Packham um, keyboard for an E-Machines computer that time frame. And you can see it is extremely worn out. Um, this was the keyboard that was used with the entire Lux for several years. And you can see a lot of the key, a lot of keys, the, the letters have been worn off the keys. And I sharpened them back in and they've worn off again. And because this keyboard is tucked under the drawer, it's, you know, the, the desk that I have has a slide out keyboard tray. And I, haven't, I have not kept the thing the cleanest, so yeah, it is a little disgusting looking. <laughs> and of course, I eat at the, um, key, the uh, computer desk all the time, so no wonder. But this is a um, this is what's called a membrane keyboard or rubber dome keyboard. So inside of most modern day keyboards, you have something that looks a lot like this right here. This keyboard is very flexible. It's called a virtually indestructible keyboard, and it is just a um, keyboard matrix housed inside of a rubber container with rubber domes on top. Over here is your interface. This is a USB keyboard. Flip it around the right way for you. This is very handy. You can see it's very flexible. So I can just roll it up. Just like this for storage. Very handy. You'd think, oh, that's because that's a um, special kind of external keyboard, well, or um, flexible keyboard, but you'd be surprised. Let's have a look inside this keyboard here. So on top you have your actual keys, and when this comes off, inside you have, voila, your rubber domes. So right here is the rubber domes that when you press down on a key, you get that snap. And only when you press down a certain amount, the key snaps down and it makes contact with a membrane. And this here peels right off. So these are the rubber domes, again, that give the keys their sort of snappy feel. Not as good as a, as a full blown mechanical keyboard. Many typists out there still prefer um, the tactile feel and the actual click that you get with, for example, with old IBM um, Model M keyboards. That are still a lot of diehard typists out there who love the old Model M keyboards and also love mechanical keyboards with Cherry MX keys for example. So you have this and down here you have the actual keyboard matrix. So these essentially house circuits in them and on the bottoms when contact is made when the when the, mem when the rubber dome flexes and the key presses down, the key, as you may see, the, the rubber domes, as you may see, they have a little point on the end. If the camera will focus on close sight, there we go. You can see that each of these domes when the key is pressed in and you get that snap it presses up against the matrix and completes the circuit so you have there's separate ones for I believe the inner button so here you have the upper and lower matrix Pretty interesting, isn't it? 
Now with the PS2 keyboard, there's not much there as far as um as um, brains. You have there, there's no um, digital components here. You have just you have a capacitor. What I think is a um, 470k ohm resistor or 47k. You have three disk capacitors. A small electrolytic capacitor. It is a um, 10 microfarad capacitor. You have a diode. No, actually, no, take that back. That's not a diode. I think that is just, well, I'm not sure. Might be an inductor. I can't really tell. But, anyways, there's not much there. It's just, if, uh, you got a few little components there, and you have your two mat. You, you have your matrix. You have the rubber domes, which give it the the snap kind of feel. And you have the keys themselves. take apart this keyboard. I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to do it. But, this has comparison. This is a mechanical keyboard. As you can hear the, you can hear mechanical switches in there. So, instead of having this, you have mechanical key switches on every key. That's the primary difference between these two. And that's why your mechanical keyboards are always a bit heavier than your rubber dome um, membrane keyboards. So, in case you've never seen us have a um, typical keyboard before, well, here you go. That's what there is to see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.